Thunderlips and Mr. T. Must be Rocky 3. Cue the intro. <laughs> That's right, it's Rocky 3, it's Sylvester Stallone, Mr. T, and Thunderlips. Hulk Hogan makes a cameo in this, well not really a cameo, but anyway, in this chapter of the story, Rocky's kind of lost his way. In the first two movies, he was kind of this underdog, I don't care about being world champion kind of guy, and in the third one, they... It actually starts with a montage of him winning a bunch of fights and being world champion and pretty much going to Hollywood, which is really different for Rocky because if you remember in the first two films, he was this, I don't know if I can do it, I just want to do my best out there kind of kind of thing. And he's defended the title now 10 times in a row. And then there's the Club, Clubber Lang montage played by Mr. T who is also beating people left and right, but he's doing it with authority, knocking people out, not letting it go to the decision. And at this point, once again, there's a theme in these movies, (coughs) excuse me, of Rocky wanting to retire. And as Rocky's at the uh, podium trying to retire, uh, Clubber Lang decides he's going to insult Rocky and Rocky's family. And Rocky wants to flight, fight Clubber. And Mick says, no, you're not going to do that. You're not going to do that. He doesn't get a shot. And Rock's going, why? We can beat this guy. And Mick tells him, no, you can't because he's, he's a machine. And he says, what about all the other fighters? And those, he says, those were hand-picked fighters. I picked those fighters. They were good fighters, but they weren't machines like this guy. And then, because of this, Rocky starts doubting himself. And he goes, Mick, we got to do one more fight. And Mick goes, no, I'm going on a vacation. And this is the conflict, again, that arises between Rocky's ego, which is newly developed, and Mick's trying to protect Rocky, which is what he's been trying to do throughout this series of films. And then he's got he's also got to deal with Polly, who's upset with Rock because he's moved Mick in. He's he's done all these great things, he's made a bunch of money. And Polly's like, What about me? What about a job? And then he tries to fight Rocky and Rocky's like, All you had to do was ask. And there's so much going on in in Rocky's world these days because he believes now he's famous, which is which is true. He is because he's the underdog champion that went it went to his head and he does this charity wrestling versus wrestler versus boxer match with Thunderlips played by Hulk Hogan and Thunderlips basically plays it off like it's a real thing but it's just for charity and he's chasing Balboa around the ring and there's one point where he lifts him up over his head and then throws him out and he's like and Balboa is like cut off my gloves and he goes in and he goes ham on Hogan which is really funny because they're going back and forth like it's not for charity and then when the fight's over, he's like, good, good match. And he's like, charity hurts. And they do a photo op, which is kind of awesome. I thought it was cool. And then, so they get to this match with uh, Clubber Lang. And Mickey's having problems. He's got shortness of breath. And then... Rock's going to call off the fight. And Mick's like, no, you're not. You're you're the champ. You got to go and fight. And Rock isn't focused. Rock is not where he needs to be mentally. And Clubber Lang basically knocks him out in like two rounds. And he goes back and Mick passes away. This naturally affects Rocky in ways that you couldn't imagine because... He basically just lost his mentor. The guy that's been guiding him 
throughout his entire career, or at least the portion that we get to see from the club fighter. And then it gets to a point where Rock doesn't want to fight anymore. And Apollo shows up. And he's like, look, Rock, I know losing your manager sucks. It's horrible. But you need to fight again because you lost the fight for all the wrong reasons. He's like, you got a swelled head. You didn't have your mind right. And you can beat this guy. And we can make it the biggest guy in boxing history. Which is really all that Apollo cares about other than his friend Rocky. Because Apollo needs to make his money. <laughs> Which is kind of uh, fits Apollo's character throughout the series. So Apollo agrees to train Rocky. and it, But he takes him to Los Angeles where it's run down and it's not great. And there's a bunch of fighters in there that look hungry and ready to go. And ready to beat the Italian stallion. And he goes, you see that look, Rock? And this is cheesy because he goes, and he goes, yeah. He goes. You had that look, it was the eye of the tiger. When you beat me by one second, that was the look you had on your face. And he goes, you got to get that back if you're going to beat Clubber Lang. And so he starts training Rocky, but he starts training him to be lighter on his feet and not being a straight ahead like target because that's how Rocky used to fight. And he's like doing laps in the pool. He's... He's shadow boxing to music. There's a whole bunch of things. But then there's one key sequence in this whole thing where he's racing Rocky up and down the beach. And what ha happens is Rocky loses every time. And Apollo knows that Rocky's got more in him, which makes Apollo very angry. Because Apollo still sees the world champion in Rock. To the point where he got his corner man involved. To help Rocky out during the fight. And Rock's not giving 100%. And he goes, he goes, Rock, what's wrong with you? And then Adrian, after Apollo leaves in frustration, is like, what is the matter with you? Why are you like this? This is not you. And he's like, and he, Rock doesn't want to answer. And he's like, I don't get it. I don't know what's going on. Adrian, this is different. This is not the way it's supposed to be. And she's like, what is the matter? And he goes, I'm scared. And I don't, I don't want to do this. I don't want this no more. I don't think that I'm the best fighter in the world anymore. If I had lost the title earlier, that would have been okay. Because at least it would have been real. And then Adrian's like, you have to do this for you. It's not about anybody else. It's not about me. It's not about Mick. It's not about anybody. It's about you, and you have to do this for you. But if you want to quit and you want to go home, that's fine with me. But if you don't want to be scared or afraid anymore, then that's something that you have to deal with on your end because nobody can win this fight for you except you because as it's been established... In the first two films, the only one that really has Rocky's back unconditionally, whether it be Polly or anybody else like Apollo, it's Adrian. Adrian will always tell Rocky the truth. And she's like, if you don't want to fight, let's go home. But if you need this fight and you need to know how good you are, then you have to stay and you have to do your thing. And... After that, then Rocky beats Apollo at the race up the beach. And Rocky starts training pretty hard. And then, you know, Clubber, he accepts the rematch. And even a, there's even a scene later in the movie where Apollo's like, in order to uh, beat Clubber, we have to put him away early. We have to end the fight early. I figure at the pace we got to set. Uh, Rocky can only go about seven or eight rounds. Because he's got to be quicker. And he's older. And that's what makes a lot of sense. And so. We get to. The the fight night. And he goes. 
and Apollo goes, I want you to wear my American red, white, and blue striped shorts. And he goes, I can't wear these. These are yours. And he goes, just do this. And after this, you're going to owe me a favor, which is quite funny, but we'll get to that later. <clears throat> so you get to the fight, and then Rock's getting, they're going back and forth for a bit. And then Clubber starts beating Rocky after the first round. And Rock's like, come on, you're not so bad. You're not so bad. And then the second round, same thing. They go back and forth, and then Clubber takes a few shots at Rock. And Rock goes, you're not so bad. You're not so bad. And then Rocky tries the rope-a-dope where Clubber's missing and Rocky's hitting him. And Rocky eventually knocks him out in the third round, winning the fight, becoming the two-time heavyweight champion of the world. It's a great little film. It, I probably can't do it justice, but you need to watch it again. Also, subscribe to the channel. Hit the like button. Turn on the notification bell. Share this video with your friends. It really does help the channel. And uh, let me know what you think of the new intro in the comments. And yeah, until next time, may your ego come from a place that keeps you humble. I'm more money. Mamba out.